little town morning. I can't wait to get to school and hand in my homework. It's not a bark! <laughs> <laughs> Sacrificing my homework. <laughs> and that's why I don't have my homework. Bravo! Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. This is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um, surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly. And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey! I'm not brushing my hair for anyone. Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No, your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> oh, well, the show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you, the rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait! I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born! Like you said, the show must go on! There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no! Here comes the giant! Jack, look out! Bravo! Oh, beautiful! Such poise! Such grace! A perfect princess! I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. Okay, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess. Walter is the bean seller. And Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, there's a funny smell in there. Ah, uh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. A dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh, yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. Kiss a girl? Yeah! <laughs> Angel face, you don't want to kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I didn't want to kiss. 
miss you. But the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer. And if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. <laughs> Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> Um, Mr Midwinter, I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... Well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. Oh, I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out, I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you going to do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr. Midwinter won't let me give up the play. <sighs> ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a Jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look. The beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. Three, five, four, four. I smell the blood of. <gasps> Stop! Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so, so in the moment! You know, you remind me of a young me! <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay! Hook her up, Angel Face! Yeah. Oh, sorry! Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold! <laughs> oh, keep your germs to yourself! I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. Good old face snot. That should keep me kiss free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, look. It's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, move! I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just a kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> oh, um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. What is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. Hurry oh, up, Dennis. Come on, Pyface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> Come on, Curly. Don't let me down. I escaped the kiss of shame. Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. I'd say the play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr. Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey, hey. Oh, 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 this is oh, 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 I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. That's showbiz. No, 
That's many spins. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lunchtime. Hot dogs, pizza. Mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> cool, pirate day. Uh, I think that means poison, Payface. Food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! I've got you now, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Cold celery soup! Get your cold celery soup. <laughs> cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface. But one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Pick, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. <laughs> Nasha, Nash. How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! <laughs> uh -huh. I have you now. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ants' DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Uh -huh. Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. How big are they? Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, <laughs> a giant ant! <laughs> attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunch time, I think. What? Oh no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make 
make it on great. Nash, Nash! <laughs> Result! Looks like your lunch is sorted, Nasha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, Dennis, what about our lunch? Nice thing. Nash, nash, nash. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. It's only Nasher in disguise. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> you, you got me. <laughs> How about a pie? I thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Yeah, in 20 years I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Hmm, if only I could find something it ate. How about your paints? Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, blueberry for me. <laughs> Nobody move! You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Oh, Nasha, run! Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! Uh, uh, I don't understand! How did he find us? Huh? Oh, no! It must be the blueberry pies! That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA! That's how it's been tracking us! Pie face! I'm on it! <laughs> And we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> and rinse. <laughs> Nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? Hey, go, mutant! <laughs> My work here is done. Phew, that was close. Can we still have the day off school? Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Nash? Oops. <laughs> Nash. <laughs> I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Whoa, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Mm. Let me guess. 
Blueberry. <laughs> 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 You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? Uh, yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself uh, uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> hey! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dennis. I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. Oh, oh, Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out-menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait. Where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah! Hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, call the menace opportunity ahead! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't resist! Must menace! What's that? Army. Whew. Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. 
OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on. That's not snow. That's... Beautiful gelatos! to get to school on time as if we go through Ah! Uh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> The brave Beano Town defenders who were armed with custard pie. Oh, what are the chances? Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Ah, oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> Um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Masha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature. Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? <laughs> yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo-filled balloon fight! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh. Our lovely little boy. <laughs> Hello, chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Mash, mash, mash. Or salesman. Mash, mash. Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Mash, 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 mash. Ah. Mash, mash. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, uh, uh, Colonel, what's wrong? There's a bar in the two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom, that's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasha. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. <laughs> eh, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. <laughs> We're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian Wirefin Piranha. <laughs> Oh, Nash proof glass with titanium lid and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A striped jumper, jumper Dennis. <laughs> There you are, lads. Status report, 1,600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Could be time for rations, then, eh? What do piranhas like to eat? <coughs> so, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> pies. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. <laughs> ah, what on earth? 
Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh-eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. No harm done, eh? <laughs> Once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing. Deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! <laughs> nash, Nash! <laughs> oh. It, oh, no, I shouldn't. Well, I'm sure I oh, can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. Long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis. just came over to, uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right. Sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Um, Pieface, he just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Uh, get out before I call the police. Oh, pardon me. Bye, pie. Oh, 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 oh that's not oh. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> okay, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan.
thing is, you'll still be able to see him every day. Nash, nash. Nash. So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't, and what I'm... Oh! <laughs> Nobody gets in that door. <laughs> Dennis, we're going on a family holiday whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> Please, Auntie Prue, 500 star trumps before breakfast. It's too much! Nonsense! You need to earn your wheat jam porridge. Now, put your bags into it, spit spot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going back to Auntie Prue's. We've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. Mm. Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant! Let's get packing, Nasha! Nash, Nash, Nash! Now look, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the five hundredth time, no! Uh, try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K into slot nine. <laughs> Taking care not to. Can I check out the campsite, Dad? Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. <laughs> And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style, am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter! Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> bye bye for now. Cool archery. <laughs> Felt it pens, so we can do some fun coloring in, of course. Coloring in? What about archery? Oh no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the uh oh, yeah. <laughs> bullseye! <laughs> I'm in charge here! Oh, if you want to stay, you have to oh, to do what I tell you! Oh, maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. That's <laughs> okay. Maybe it is better here. Just yeah. Ugh. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <laughs> to the adventure playground. Yeah! <laughs> That's more like it. <sighs> More like it. <laughs> 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 <
like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet. Not likely. <laughs> More water! We need more water! Whatever you say, Walter! <laughs> <laughs> Any more messing about and you'll have to leave! And we both know what that means. Uh, can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense! Prune juice is good for you! <laughs> <laughs> This holiday's turning into a real washout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yes. Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? <laughs> oh, behave! Oh, behave! Oh, behave. <laughs> There's a scavenger hunt tomorrow, yeah! Why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world. Am I right? Oh, I love my job. Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out. And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, hell of it's going to be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. <laughs> like Dad says, Proper camping food. Hope you're hungry, B. <laughs> They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, B? <laughs> <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that bong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. Let's make this list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Dash, dash. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Are simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> 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 your scavenger hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. Uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? It was on Walter's list. Look. Let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Birthface cheek. Uh, a hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. It's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids! Who would you like in charge? I can't hear you! Looks like we have a winner. Am I right? I'm not wrong. 
Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Menace style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? Oh! Cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, class. Put some spring in your step. Someone say spring. if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Tone Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. Oh. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets. You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, Miss. Uh, I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a. Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie doke, Miss Mum. No! <coughs> yeah, oh! Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang. This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr. Cheddar, former headmaster and now resto manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah! 
Ah! Oh, no! And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis! Where? No, where? Oh. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> on lips! Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash! 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 A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We were ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <coughs> Nash? He's my teacher's pet, of course. So we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. <laughs> Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises, don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> Looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. I wonder if it still works. It does still work. Fingers on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Gun way! 
Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> but I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 